Hi everybody. So here is the cafeteria where we're going to be, uh, the kids will be eating. So you can see we're using the entire space this year. And so the kids will be sitting here and over here. And so we'll have uh, one child sitting on this side and one child sitting on this side. So in all, we're going to be able to socially distance about 80 kids at a time. And we'll have screens here, so when the kids get done, we might be able to even watch cartoons or something sometimes, so keep it fun. So, if you come over here, follow me. Okay, now, you'll notice on the floor we have social distancing markers, so the kids will know what way to walk and how to keep things, to keep things apart. Over here is our quarantine area. So, if your child has symptoms and a fever, then they will go in this room and be quarantined. The nurse will evaluate them. If they do, if they are displaying COVID symptoms, then you're going to get a phone call and you will need to pick them up within 30 minutes. Okay, within 30 minutes, so you'll need to pick them up. But they will stay in this room quarantined until um, you get there. So we're not going to be having them in a, the nurse's office. We have the nurse's office and the quarantine room. Okay, now I'm going to take you to a classroom key so you can see what a classroom looks like. Hi, everybody. Uh, we're in a kindergarten classroom, and I just wanted to show you what it looks like. This is Miss Caruso's classroom. She's one of our new kindergarten teachers. Uh, so all of our tables, you can see, are six feet apart. And in a scenario like this where we have three kids, we've ordered some sneeze guards. I heard that they're in today. They're 24 by 24 sheets of plexiglass. So in this situation, we would have three so that they would be divided into three sections for the kids. Even though we have plexiglass, if we had three kids sitting here, they would still be wearing face coverings. Now, if you look around the room, though, there's still a lot of scenarios where the kids would not have to wear face coverings. If you had one student here, one here, one here, one here, you could possibly have a student over here at the carpet. You could have someone over here on a lap desk. So we're trying to create space where we can spread the kids out. In first grade, our numbers are about 15 in a classroom. So we're trying to keep them down so that we can spread kids out. We also have, you can see that uh, Ms. Caruso has a place where every student has their own bin, place to hang everything. Um, every child they get a lanyard where they're going to attach their face mask so they won't drop it. Uh, also, we have created math manipulative baggies. So kids won't be sharing math manipulative. So here is an example of a little baggie. So each kid will have their own uh, math manipulative bag with their own supplies in it. So, and then you can see that Miss Crusoe has little baskets underneath each chair where the kids will have their own supplies. And every teacher is doing a little bit differently, but they're all spaced out like this.